welcome all welcome to the first session of physics class of academic year 2020-21 i thank almighty god for this wonderful opportunity given to me to reach out to my students during this lockdown please subscribe this channel to get the upcoming lectures i know that you all will be stressed because of the board exam not only because of the board exam but also the vast syllabus you need to complete within the less time limit as the world is very competitive a slight variation in the marks will cause a great difference in the merit list for the allotment of the next higher studies so this class 12 is very important for you that's why i am also trying to be with you to make you to be success and to excel in your exam as each and every student want to excel in their studies but what happens in the case of ise they are providing a in depth knowledge in the field of study because of this reason most of the students will feel that the syllabus is very vast so they can't do anything first it's all they will feel that how i will complete it how i will retrieve my knowledge and how i will uh, like get good marks how how can i do so many things are there so here is the solution for it and through all my lectures i will help you out how to complete your syllabus and also how to face the exam for this a well planned learning strategy or techniques is very essential to excel in this field so let's begin and the main content of this video is the syllabus of the paper 1 the paper 1 you have already know for the class 12 that is theory part and also how the council is going to evaluate you that means ies evaluation system i am going to explain for you let's check upon the syllabus or theoretical part of this you can see in the syllabus there are so many areas are there in the physics and the some part you have already clear in the class 11th and the remaining part you are going to clear uh, in this year of class 12 so now you can see that the main topics comes under for this year are electrostatics current electricity and magnetic field of current and magnetism electromagnetic induction and alternating currents electromagnetic waves optics dual nature of radiation and matter atoms and nuclei semiconductor devices or mainly specifying the electronic devices and the final module is regarding the communication system so these are the 10 modules or the field areas of physics you are going to learn in this class 12 of isc as i am preferring the textbook the newton physics class 12 for isc board mainly dividing this 10 modules of area of study into 35 small small chapters so that you could able to finish the small chapters and you will feel confident to go to the next topics also you can assess within the after completing first chapter you can assess your own and how much you know it you will be well thorough with the topics so next comes our evaluation system the evaluation system mainly we call it as paper pattern in this evaluation system that is in the paper 1 actually that is for 70 marks 3 hours you are going to write that is 3 hours the examination time and there are 22 questions are there let's check in this 22 questions how many weightages are there when you are seeing this weightages you can see that for the paper 1 for 70 marks that is question number 1 having two parts that is first is a part that is mcq and the this mcq carries five questions are there and each question will be carrying one mark each and second part of this is short answer very short answer type that is brief answer type and there are seven questions are there like that each question will be carrying 
one mark that means question one itself will be carrying 12 marks second question to question number 12 that carries two marks this 11 questions you have to answer as short answer type it is basically concept conceptual levels and also some basic numericals also you can expect from this section and the remaining part that is from question number 13 to the question number 19 that the uh, there are seven questions are there that carries three marks each you can see that from second question to question number 12 and from the question number 13 to 19 first section is two marks and second section is three marks you will be having internal choices for any two questions from two marks and also from three marks and also the remaining question that is out of 22 the last remaining questions that is from 20 to 22 that is 20 21 and 22 question that is for five marks and all these three questions will be having internal choices i'm sure that you all are clear about the how the paper pattern is now you have understood that what are the topics and also you have understood how many questions are there now i'm going to tell what is the weightage for each topic first topic which i have specified is the electrostatic and current electricity carries 14 marks and magnetic field of current and magnetism plus the electromagnetic induction and ac current and also the electromagnetic waves these three modules you will be having the weightage for 16 marks and the optics that chapter is very important and that chapter will be carrying 18 marks and dual nature of radiation and matter atoms and nuclei that will be having the weightage 12 marks and electronic devices carries 8 marks and the communication system carries 2 marks so you can see that from this why i specified the the topic wise or the module wise weightage because this will help you out in the revision time and during the revision time you can start from the higher weightage or maximum weightage chapters or modules to the minimum chapter modules so this will be very helpful for you and now in this video you have seen the syllabus what are the main topics next we comes to the paper pattern and next we have seen the what are the weightages for each chapter so i'm sure that you are you have a basic knowledge about how to approach it and now in the next video i'll be sharing you with the how the previous year board students have written and how the council have analyzed them and what are the main mistake they have made and what are the mistake or what are the recommendations they have given from the examiners so i wish all have understood this video and thank